Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. We're in Reason, Propeller Head Reason 8.32 or something like that. We were doing some Bitwig stuff, but I don't know. I just I keep coming back to Reason mainly because of the sound engine and the fact that I've I've bought several rack extensions over the years and just um, I'm having a, I'm having a kind of a little bit of a problem getting the, getting the sound just really coming out of uh, of Bitwig, you know. Uh, with the with the default devices, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on the VSTs, you know, really. So, but there there's going to be more Bitwig stuff coming up. But right now we're uh, we're in Reason, and we're going to talk about uh, creating um, basically sends and returns. Now, normally you have the uh, the eight sends and returns here on the back, the inputs and the outputs, and that's great. And those, of course, correspond with these. Uh, eight returns here and so you do already have the ability to do that but you only have eight of them and also it can be a little uh, I, I like to I like to put my uh, returns on faders and so this technique I'm going to describe today is a way to uh, put your sends and returns onto faders and then each effect will have a you know up to six channels I'll, I'll basically take you through what we're doing here so let's go ahead and go to utilities we're going to need a couple of mixed channels drag a couple of those out let's say uh, you know we'll throw two two or three of those whoops not an audio channel so we'll throw uh, two or three of those out there and we're gonna turn them uh, it's always important to keep your stuff organized we're gonna turn them gray gray so we got the three mixed channels here are the three mixed channels We're going to open all three of these up and we're going to put the devices in there so we're going to go to effects we're going to put a scream in here and again it's going to auto route so you got to be careful with this you don't want it to auto route okay you got to hold shift i wish you could disable auto routing but apparently you can't do that uh the rv we're going to put that in here holding shift whoops not tab holding shift and then we're going to put the echo return all right, so we have a scream, an RV7000 reverb, and an echo delay. So basically, it's your it's your distortion, your reverb, and your delay. Basically, is what's going on here. Now we're also going to need um, some line mixers under utility. Get yourself uh, again. Hold shift. Put a line mixer down. So basically, I'm creating a send and return for these three effects. Now, how we're going to wire this is uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. We're going to put the output of the mixer into the input. And then we're going to put the output of the screen into the input here. Okay. Again, how we're going to wire this, the output of the mixer is going to go into the input of the effect unit, the reverb in this case. And then the output is going to go into the input of the mix channel. Again. The master out is going to go into the main input of the effect, and then the main output is going to go into the input of the mix channel. And so we have six channels of delay, six channels of reverb, six channels of distortion scream right here. Now on the other, that's basically the return set right there. And so there's your, there's your scream return, your reverb, and your echo return. All your returns right there. So on that end, you can go ahead and fold those up. Use them in the they're just getting the default settings. You can go in here and you can adjust each effect to your liking, but we're just going to use the default for now. All right, on the instrument side of it, we're going to put in a uh, piano here. Let's say we're going to put those over here for now, just to keep things organized. We're going to open this up. We're going to disconnect this, and again, open up the insert. We're going to need a spider audio merger. Okay. We're going to put that in there. So we're going to go with the main output. It's going to go into the input, and then this splits it four ways. One way is going to go into the main channel. And then these three can go to your send effects. 
channel one of your send effects in this case. Okay, so let's create another instrument. There's your bass down here. We'll put a bass synthesizer in there, a subtractor bass synthesizer. We're gonna once again open up the inserts. We're gonna get that spider audio merger, not a CV merger, an audio merger. That's very important. We're gonna take the output. This is a mono device, so it's gonna go into the left there. Left channel is gonna go into the input. And then it's going to go to the scream. The second channel of the scream, second channel of the reverb, and second channel of the delay. Now, to see how this all works, let's go ahead and close these up. Close these up. Slate blue for bass. We've got to go orca for piano. I got too many damn colors in here now. Okay, so how this is going to work, if you go to here, if you turn all these down, you're just getting just your piano. There's your return. Oh. Oh, just oh. see what I mean about the sound engine? Anyway, so that's the reverb. Again, we're back to just normal. Here's the scream, the distortion. Okay, so that's that's the piano. Let's go to the bass, see how that's sounding. There's the echo with the bass. You probably never want a delay on the bass, but you see the point. Or a reverb on the bass, but a nice full sound there with a the reverb and then the distortion. And so see how all three of your effects are set up on returns. Now there is an issue with well let's say you want to uh, you know you want some reverb but you don't you know like the delay in the reverb say you want that on the piano but not on the bass well what you got to do and this is another uh, thing that you could possibly do is put these mixers outside the mix channel that way you can make those adjustments actually I'm gonna do that so that way these can still be folded up and then you can get out the mixers so yeah you can turn this is your base and again you could label all this stuff and make it all dialed in but So now you see you'll have a reverb and delay. Like let's say we put in some MIDI notes here. Just put in some quick MIDI notes. Quick little uh, C major piece here and then we'll yeah, a little C major action going on here. There's that. Let's see we put in a couple more notes. Oh we're gonna get high on it there. There it goes. Oh boy. What's that gonna do? Who knows? So let's say we get into that a little bit. You know, there's our MIDI clip, let's say. So let's go ahead and play that. Whoa, look out. Okay, let's hit the P. Drag that to the bass. So now those MIDI notes are playing in the grand piano and the bass. So you know this is the piano column here. So you got your, uh, what the heck happened to my labels here? They changed colors. That's a bullshit thing right there. All right, so you got your return. That's only affecting the piano. That's only affecting the bass. The reverb. Only affecting the piano. 
only affecting the bass. Delay, only affecting the piano, only affecting the bass, which you'd never want delay on a bass, I wouldn't think. But. And so you can see here, give the piano a little reverb, a little delay. And so again, it's just kind of a, a different way of applying effects through using the sins. And again, you can use these sins right here. These sins and returns are actually pretty, uh, pretty nice, pretty effective. But if you ever do want to, you know, put multiple instruments into the same kind of bank of sins, if you just want a bank of, a, you know, send effects or or a certain effect that is not going to fit into these eight and you still want that same kind of thing this is a pretty good uh, solution again just to review what we did here let's open these up again here this is basically the wiring of the whole system right here this is basically what we're doing on one side we have we have three mixed channels the effect, the input is going into a, a line mixer, the output is going into the mix channel. And then the input of that line mixer is where your instruments go. But your instruments, you have to spider those out because there's only one input here. I guess you could run an auxiliary into there actually. You could run an auxiliary. If you're just doing this with one effect, let's say, you could just run an auxiliary. Then you have your instrument goes into the input and then the auxiliary output goes into the input of the effect and i'll show you what this does this is kind of a simplified version there's your grand piano dry and then you can mix in your send effect So that's kind of an abbreviated version of, uh, of what I just did. So if you want to use multiple effects, you do the more complex one. Uh, this one is a simplified version. If you just want one instrument and one send effect, you know, you could also put this into a, a mix channel as well. You could pull this all out of here, or uh, you could just use a, a sub mix as well. You could take this mix channel out of here, take this screen, put it in here, hold shift, take your line mixer here, Put that right into the uh, thing there. Put your auxiliary into the in, and then uh, take your output, put it in channel one. Take your uh, output of the effect, put it in channel two. See, this created a separate mix channel. God, I hate auto routing. God, I hate auto routing. Get rid of auto routing. Next reason, disable auto routing. I want to disable auto routing. I hate it. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck's going on? Alright, I gotta get out of here. I've had enough fun for one day.